software entrepreneurs, I always say, what are you going to do when that happens? Because it is inevitable. It's going to happen. How are you going to compete with a free version of your thing? Right? And so you're going to compete on things that, that, uh, that um, you pick what you want. You, you, you pick what you want to compete in. Um, I picked usability and customer service from the beginning. Notice that they're not features. These, these, uh, these uh, have a uh, much longer lifespan than features because in five years or ten years, my customers are not going to say, you know what, I wish your customer service was worse, <laughs> right? Or uh, I, wish, um, I wish your software was harder to use, right? Of course not, right? This is something that if we do it well today, if we continue to do this better than our competition, our customers are always going to want this, right? Uh, and uh, so, for instance, uh, to compete against a free version, which we have, a, a, there's a couple of open source tools that do the same thing. Well, one thing that we have is that we make money out of this. So we never get tired of making it better and better and better. A lot of the open source tools are people who are in a university, they're doing it because they want to learn, you know, they're, they're passionate about it, but nobody's paying them for doing it. If somebody comes over and gives them a paying job, they're going to take that job and neglect the open source thing. It happens all the time. A lot of open source uh, tools just disappear because there's not a lot of motivation to continue making it better, right? Um, so pick your battles, don't make it about features, and deliver, right? I say, if somebody comes out with a tool similar to ours and does better customer service than we do and has better usability in their tool, they deserve to win. 